Welcome back everybody, here is Game Dev Encoding. Today I would like to show you how to make a custom slider. So as we all know, if we want to make a slider with colors in Unreal Engine 4, we have to put into the widget a spin box, which has two color. In this case, we have rose and green. The problem is that we can actually set the value of the spin by clicking on it. And this cause on mobile the showing up of the keyboard. And so we don't want this actually. We just want to use the slider feature. So how can we do it? The solution is to use a simple slider and apply a custom material on it. And so let's see how can we do it. Let's start with the tutorial. As always, create a project and create a widget. Now we are going to set up everything. Import a canvas. In this case, I'm also setting a background. Now add a vertical box. And now add the slider. We need three slider because we are going to do three kind of version very similar to each other but I'm going to show you different colors but the main concept is still one so because this is a very simple tutorial we're just going to open the blueprint level and create a widget get the player controller promote a variable and call it custom slider widget ref add to viewport get player controller and show the cursor mouse then set the input mode only and connect everything like this compile save So here it is, our tree slider. Now we need to apply the material on each of them. So let's proceed with it. Create a material, call it slider material one. Change the material domain from surface to user interface. Now we need an if, then we need a mask. And we only need the red channel. Get the texture coordinate and link it. Now promote a parameter and call it value and set it as 0.5. Then make a constant which is 0 and link it in this way. Promote another constant and link it with the last node of the if. So in this case we have a white and black material. Now go back and duplicate the material and call it slider material 2. Now delete the two constant and now promote a tree vector parameter. Change the color. Copy and paste the parameter and rename it as color 2. Link this with the last node then change the color apply and save now duplicate again 
go to rename the color 1 as background color. Now break the link of color 2, double it and now call it gradient color 2 and then gradient color 1. Change the color of gradient color 2, then get alert. Now from the texture coordinate, get a linear gradient and link it with the alpha and then connect the output of the learn with the last node of our if. Apply and save. Go back to our widget event graph. Now we need a sequence. Add another node and create a dynamic material instance. Double it another two times and now set for every inch the materials we made. Then for each of them promote a variable. In this case promote a variable and call it custom slider material 1. Then custom slider material 2. And then custom slider material 3. Then get a make slate brush. Then link custom slider material 1 with image. Change the image size. In this case, I set 256. Double it. And now change again the image size for X and Y both 0. Then go to draw as and set it now. Then get a make slider style. Expand it. And link everything in this way I'm showing you. Now because I want to make everything more clear, I'm adding a return node. Now change the bar thickness and set it 50. Get the custom slider one and set its style. And then link it with the slider style we just made. Link everything. Now copy everything and paste it. So what we have to do now is just to change the variable. So get, instead of custom slider material 1, get the number 2. Same for the slider. Link everything again. And do the same thing for the slider number 3. So change the material. and then change the slider. Now select custom slider 1 and add value change event. Do the same thing for the alter sliders. Now grab the custom material 1 and set scalar parameter value. The parameter name is value because we previously named our parameter as value. And do the same thing with the alter sliders. This is the code. Just take a little review. As you see, the concept is the same. We just changed the slider material and the slider. Here it is, our slider with custom material. I also would like to show you that we can uh, rotate the material inside the slider. So instead of making it horizontal, we can make it vertical. And so, as you see, now back on the mobile phone, we don't have any kind of problems 
with our custom slider that we just made and so everything is perfect you don't have to worry about any keyboard anymore if you have any doubts or you want to know more about this comment under this video also remember you can download for free this project so you just have to check the description click on the link and uh, through google drive you can download the project and use it for your own purpose without writing code you just have to download it and uh, there you go you can copy paste on your projects and so this is the end of this video if the tutorial was helpful for you guys remember to click like and subscribe to my channel for other tutorials and see you in the next one bye guys